is your girl disastrous beauty and i am coming to you with yet another wig review the unit i'm going to be reviewing today is this unit that i have on my head right now and she is by the brown sugar isis collection and she is in the style bs 120. the color i am wearing is sr1b slash teal i don't know if you can tell that this unit is teal because like i always say my lighting is terrible but one day honey it's gonna be on point but right now we gotta work with what we got but it is a teal unit I'm trying to see if y'all can see it if not i will insert some pictures at the end of the video kind of trying to show you the color of it, of it it is a very very pretty unit the color even though it is a teal wig it, it's not um, I don't want to use the word ghetto, but ghetto is the only word that comes to mind. It is not ghetto. It is, it just kind of gives you kind of like a rock feel to it. I don't know. I love that it is short. Now, I will say this. This is a major con to this wig. It has no combs. Now, if you are a person that doesn't like combs or doesn't use combs anyway, and that's not going to be an issue for you. But I am somebody that lives, lives for combs. So, I have a head full of bobby pins right now. I mean, I got a bobby pin here, and 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 I got bobby pins in the back. Because I need to feel secure. I need, need to feel like this wig is not going to fly off my head at any given moment. So, that is a major con to this wig. So if you don't have any bobby pins and you buy this unit, baby, go buy you some bobby pins because you're going to need that security. She does have adjustable straps. And like I said, for some people, the straps are enough. Straps are just not enough for me. I love her. Other than that, I love this unit. Now, the parting space is not great. And I didn't pluck her because... Honestly, y'all, I barely have time to even film a video, let alone pluck a wig. So, I didn't pluck her. I just added some concealer. And, actually, I didn't add any fresh concealer when I put her back on. So, the pardon space may look a little jacked. But, you know, that's an easy fix. It's easy to fix pardon space. Um, it is, It's not a lace front. So, I like that. I don't, like I said, I don't have time to pluck the wig. I barely have time to cut lace. I will cut lace if I have to, but it's not like I have time to. So, any wig that doesn't come with lace is a thumbs up for me. Uh, she's, uh, you know, the feel that this wig gives me. You remember um, Beyonce video XO? She kind of has that short hair, that short curly hair. That's, that's the vibe I get when I wear this wig. And... I like her because it's very low maintenance. It's not much that you have to do to this wig. And you, I don't have to walk around with a brush and my purse and all of that. That I have to do with my long wigs. Not saying that I mind because like I said, that's the price that you're going to pay when you get a synthetic unit. But shorter synthetic units tend to tangle way less. I've had her since April 1st. And she still looks just as good as she did when I bought her. That's the plus side of all short units. So, the longer the hair is, the more you can expect tangling. Did I tell y'all that I didn't, once again, that I do not have the the card, the care card? I'm going to do much better, guys. I promise when it comes to those care cards. Um, but I will leave a link to this wig in the description box below. I did not get her from Glamour Tress. I got her from Wig Types. Only because Glamour Tress did not come in this teal and I was on a teal kick. I had to have the teal wig and Glamour Tress didn't have it. So, that matter of fact, this is the first unit that I bought from wig types because of the coloring. And I found out that wig types has a better selection of wigs. So, yes, that's where I got her. I got her from wig types. I will leave the information in the description box below. And let me kind of show you what she looks like in the back. Because... If I can, can y'all see it? Can y'all see it? <laughs> I hope so, because I'm on the floor in my living room and I do not have a tripod, so that's the best I can do. But um, 
she basically looks like this in the back but it's kind of has like a like a layered bob effect to it it is really pretty y'all it is so pretty maybe maybe i can get my husband to take a picture of the back of this week before he leaves for work and i'll just leave that at the end of the video because i know ain't there's no way y'all could have seen that with me with my head turned like that so yeah i will get him to do that before he goes to work and i will leave y'all some pictures at the end of the video because i know for a lot of women the back makes the wig so i want y'all to be able to see the back of her um i think i paid Y'all, why I don't ever know how much I pay for these wigs? I think it was like $22. Most wigs that I buy are like $21, $22. If it's a half wig, it's like $14, $15. So I kind of forget how much I pay for them. I will leave that in the description box below so you can know how much this wig costs on wig types. Usually you have to pay two extra dollars when you get, you know, a certain color. And I think this was one of those wigs that you have to pay like $2 for the coloring. But... It's still not that much, guys. So, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comment box below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys.